Welcome back to Showbiz 360. My name is Giovanni Caleb, and they are calling a hip hop. They are calling a hip hop line. Ah, uh, into muti zami tu padem 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 minti shi. Anya mungwa mis minti shi. But please make sure you hashtag Showbiz 360, and uh, let's keep the conversation going on social media. We've got Chance the Rapper and Vigmas, and now these are guys yeah. who have actually they've got their thing going on already for them. Yeah. Uh, guys, Akwaba. Oh, thank you. Medasi. 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 Thank you. Medasi. You you are Ghanaian, eh? Yes, sir. Uh, have you traced your ancestry yet, Chance? No, 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 no. You're I don't still do working that. on it. I'm I'm just black. No, no, you there is a 99.9% .9 chance that you are Ghanaian. Ghanaian, yes. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so, Ghanaian, so, which means I'm black. Yeah. So sure. welcome home. Thank you. So is that what is driving you guys to come back home for the Black Star uh, line concert? Yeah. Tell I me think, more. Uh, we're just at a, at a point in time mm. where uh, uh, technology, trade, um, culture, everything is pointing towards further connectedness with black people globally, not just from the U.S. and the continent, but also from the islands, from mm. the U.K., from around the world. Mm. And uh, we, me and Vic are just in the business of creating spaces for black people to enjoy events. We've done a lot of crazy concerts around the world, Great. a lot of crazy festivals around the world. Mm. And... Uh, in my travels here, coming to, to, to visit Vic, um, he had, together we had this idea of doing uh, a concert, a traveling festival of sorts that would bridge the gap between the diaspora and the continent. That's right. And we have a date already, Vic. January 6th. Confirmed. January 6th, confirmed Black Star Line Festival at the Black Star Square. Yeah. January 6th, you know. Right in Ghana. Right Can you tease Ghana. us on the lineup? Uh, maybe coming. a... That's forthcoming, that's forthcoming. <laughs> but you know, right now it's like, we're really focusing on connectivity uh -huh. and global blackness uh -huh. and affordability. You know what I mean? Like breaking down the barriers between us uh -huh. across oceans, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And having been doing this for you know, nearly a decade, it's like we come to realize that as black artists, we're performing all over Europe. Yeah. You know, 10 times you're over. Home. You're, we're you're not, far from home. Yeah, we're not just going to London. We're going to Leeds. We're not just going to Berlin. We're going to Dusseldorf. We're going to places we never heard of before <laughs> we come and yeah. perform in where we're actually from. Yeah. You know what I mean? So at this moment, we're onboarding a lot of artists globally, just, just black talent, you know, musicians, fine artists, intellectuals to come to Ghana at the top of January for this cultural experience. That's right. We're looking forward to that, but I know in your travels, you're picking new sounds. You're picking a lot of, would you say you have an album on hold now? You have a, yeah. Your mating album. It's yeah, my, right my, project, uh, my project, Starline Gallery, uh -huh. uh, is coming out very soon. I've, uh, I, I just dropped my last record with, uh, with Joey Badass, mm -hmm. The Highs and the Lows. Um, uh, Couple months back, and a few freestyles. Uh huh. You said what? And your your freestyles as well. Oh, the writing exercises. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did the writing exercises too. Let me take off my glasses before I look too smart on TV. Yeah, you look nerdy, but uh, it's allowed. I, no, you look great. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say uh, I've, I've been uh, collaborating with a lot of fine artists. The first artist that I work with on my project, Nilo Pianga. She's a Gabonese artist oh. uh, that I met in Ghana in Accra. What? And yeah, well, she she uh, she was working at a gallery in 1957. Uh -huh. She's been featured around the world. She started off as an architect working under David Aje, and myself and her collaborated on a piece that was one part music and mm -hmm. the other part literal like fine arts a piece. So she painted this giant 12 foot tall um, painting called Child of God that's right now uh, featured at the MCA in Chicago. So she, uh, she kind of inspired this, this trip that I've been taking around the world, mm. meeting with different black fine artists from everywhere. Wait, it's interesting you're mentioning that because we all know that this project is about music. Yeah. But now you're telling me it's more than music. It's, it's an experience. Yeah. You have a fine artist yeah. in your album. Yeah, it's, How? it's, it's several. Well, there's, there's this thing called interdisciplinary art, right? Okay. And the idea with interdisciplinary arts is that uh, it's not you're just marrying... this. Yeah, you, exactly. Mm. You marry the, the, the visual art of, mm -hmm. of like a, a standard piece that's, mm -hmm. that's static to music, to film, to performance art, mm. and you marry them in a way where they're always connected. So that's that right. piece, that giant painting sits up somewhere and when people see it, they think of Child of God, the song. Right. That's right. And vice versa. It's good that we don't have a date for the album yet. But this is my final question on the album. You're trying to get them answers. Yeah. <laughs> You're yet to give up the date. I mean, I know all these blogs, international media houses have been running after you for that. But 
Uh, is this something we're going to experience? Maybe the first time you're performing any song of that album will be here in Ghana. Oh, in on here, that absolutely, stage. absolutely. Mm. I would say the launch date for this network of global blackness mm -hmm. that's been started in Accra uh, with people like Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, mm -hmm. with people from Jamaica like Marcus Garvey, mm -hmm. with people from America, with, with people all around the world. The launch of this is going to happen on January 6th yeah. at the Black Star Square with the Black Star Line Festival. Wow. And Vic, <laughs> you're a businessman too, eh? We see all the things you're doing. Congratulations on oh, your you. latest projects. Boys. The last we checked, you were buying gases for uh, NIF and Ufuano. Uh, I'll talk gas, your friend of Fuano. They told I'll me I'll come here and give out some gas. Yeah, over, over 200 cars in your, yeah, your, yeah, your, yeah. your, well, where you stay. This is yes, your hometown sir. now, so where you stay. Yes, uh, sir. Is that true? Yeah, so 93 Boys, I just launched the first black owned weed Cannabis. brand. Weed. Cannabis, yeah. In, in Tampi. In Illinois, yeah. It's, in Tampi, it's marijuana. Legal. It's, it's legal, legal now. You know, I've been selling it far before it was legal, but you know, now. No, I'm we don't. It. We don't. It's not legal here. So I don't sell it here. I don't have it here. Yeah. <laughs> don't check me for it. You won't find it. Uh, um, but, but, but interesting, interesting you're saying that because you are say, selling something that is not legal here, there, to make money and come and help us here. Yeah. You know. My president, are you watching? <laughs> My people, maybe it's time we revive that conversation around the, the weed, eh? You know, the thing with the weed and the gas giveaway is like, really tied into the Black Star Line Festival in a, lot, in a lot of ways because what we're looking to do is also to reinvest. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I think that the narrative with black communities in America as well as the continent at large has mm. always been extraction. It's always right. people come, they extract our resources, yeah. they extract our labor, uh -huh. they extract our value. And so with this Black Star Line Festival, our purpose is to not only come and you know, profit or capitalize from the continent, but to really bring, uh, you know, resources and, and talent. And we're working on uh, tying in clean water, you know, providing clean water. We're partnering with some organizations, mm. one of which my father started that we've already built a water hole yeah. in uh, Cove Town where my family is, Cofredia, you know yeah. what I mean? And so we also have a team of like, all Ghanaians, you know what I mean, that we're collaborating with. So you're providing you know I a mean? job for the youth. You're working with us. You give us the people that are, yeah. that, are, that are already in right. the mix, you know what I mean? Like Alvin and his whole BB&Z team are really instrumental Wonderful. in our process right now and in, in our production because right. we recognize that it's like oftentimes people try to come into Ghana and step on toes mm -hmm. and, you know, just push their own agenda. And we want this to be a very collaborative uh, Project. Project. And yeah. that it's, it's like it's not just our festival, it's our festival. You know what I mean? That. And we're bringing everybody in. All right. We're getting a few comments on uh, Showbiz360 hashtag on Twitter. Please keep them coming through. Uh, Giovanni, please ask Chance the rapper why he always wear his cap with a three. Um, my brain is exposed. <laughs> and if y'all saw that, you would not like me. So I have to hide my brain with a hat <laughs> open, whenever I open can. Open surgery. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Giovanni. Uh, are you hearing what they are saying? All I'm hearing is, ah, mm, huh? Mm. Tristan Valence, after ah. you lost. Mm. Mm, ah, mm. I, I, I can hear them perfectly fine. Ah. Uh, me too quite a crowd. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sorry. Yellow. Uh, do, do you speak Chi? Do you? We don't speak Chi. We don't speak God. Actually, I don't speak for Vic. I don't know. Yeah, you, you, you've been here. Yeah, my tree is not <laughs> there. It's terrible, it's, eh? It's not there. All right, let's talk about we're wrapping Good up. Time. I know you have another engagement now. It's been a long day for you guys. Uh, it has been. I know you're enjoying the interview, but we have to. Wrap. Can I tell you the favorite thing that, that happened to us today? No. Earlier? Yes, oh, yeah, you can. Sure. Yeah, 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 I can. <laughs> uh, my favorite thing that happened today, we visited the University of Ghana. Oh, the which, drama school. The, the, the School of Performing Arts. Yeah, well, there's several colleges with them. Yeah. They have the School of Immigration Studies. There's several colleges that make up the University of Ghana. Yeah. And I don't know how much everybody that just lives here every day understands, you know, how powerful or how historic or how uh, celebrated that institution is around yeah. the world. Malcolm yeah. X spoke there in 1964. One of yeah. his most important speeches is from out of that uh -huh. space. Uh, has produced plenty of presidents for True. this country. I'm a proud product. Of that school, my really? Father yeah, too, the University you know, of Ghana. Yeah, too, you know. and we are yeah. 75 years now. I want to, yeah, Mali 74 went years. Too. Yeah, Mali also went there. Yeah, it's yeah. a, it's a place that I want to just highlight and say thank you for welcoming us. You should come so on as well. a guest lecturer. 
To what? A guest lecturer. You should be other guest. No, well, what we're going to do that I wanted to point out is that the Starline Festival isn't only January 6th. There's an entire week lead up of Festival. events that happen, mm. right? And one of the most important things is a lot of thought leaders, I can't say which ones yet, yeah, okay. but a lot of important thought leaders, activists, uh, artists, and, and, and just celebrated people around the diaspora are going to be leading some important talks okay. at the University of Ghana, at the lecture halls. And I just implore everybody out there to, uh, to mark their calendars and be ready for the top of the year. Don't party too hard at the end because it's right. going to be a, it's going to be a wild week for sure. Thank you very much. Chance the rapper and uh, Vic Mesa, please your final words for your fans. They're watching. We Talk are the about. black star line. January 6th. Right. January 6th. <laughs> black star, black Square. star line. <laughs> and it's free. And we are Oh out yeah. Of here. Woo! Okay. We're getting a lot of questions now, but unfortunately it's too late. We got to go. Yeah. It's too late guys.